Estamos con eh, parte del equipo creativo de Martán Mariela. Como ustedes saben, Martán Mariela siempre oculta sus, sus caras porque son un equipo grande y, y mantienen el anonimato. Así que voy a entrevistar a, a una chica que es parte del equipo de Martán Mariela y solo vamos a ver su bata. Pero ella nos contestará todo lo que queremos saber acerca de esta colección, esta reedición eh, para H&M. So tell me, uh, which was your criteria uh, to choose uh, these, these pieces? Okay. Well, um, just explain, uh, all pieces are re-editions of um, all of our iconic Mazamata Magella items over the last 23 years. So I must say, choosing, we didn't have a set criteria. We were given carte blanche from H&M. We could do whatever we wanted to do. So how we decided to do it was we, uh, we all sat down and just had to think about what, which, which pieces we held closer to our heart, which pieces we found most, we felt the most iconic, and which pieces we thought the audience would enjoy the most. So tell me something, do you have a favorite one? Uh, I can't choose, but yes. Nos va a enseñar su favorita. Recuerden, a ella no la podemos ver, pero sí las piezas que crearon. I know, it's my favorite. It's it's such an improbable jacket. It's humongous, but on it's just I think I find it stunning. So comfortable, warm, and interesting. You know, it's, it's huge. And so for H&M, do you think they did a good job H&M um, to reproduce it? Absolutely fantastic job. We worked very closely with the H&M design team and our design team and regular meetings in Paris constant communication between the two houses. We got on very well. And that resulted in that every single decision was checked by both them and I. No, nothing was done without either of us you know, being okay with it. It was a real collaboration. But as a Maison, we're used to collaborations because within ourselves, there is the one designer and you know, everybody has an input. So this idea of picking something from one person and mixing something from another, it came naturally. Uh, so, um, do, you know, do you think there is a best-seller piece? Well, I think for women, maybe the biker jacket. This one? Yes. This one this is going to be the best-seller? I can't say, but I think, I mean, in your, in your I think it's going to be a popular. I think it might oh be a popular choice. Oh my god, choice. yes, it is super beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's so hard to record and not being able to, to, to see my face. Yeah, it's funny. I'm doing an over voice. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so yes, we think this is going to be a, a bestseller. Yeah, I think this would work. This is what our most recent re-edition for the women's collection. So oh. it's from 2012. It's probably the piece that all newer generations will remember as it is one of the latest pieces. So... Ah, so the people that cannot buy Martin Margiela directly, you should get this piece. You don't feel jealous that everybody in this world is going to have a piece of you? Absolutely not. That's what we've always, we've always wanted to be, to democratize ourselves. Mm -hmm. For many reasons we haven't been able to in the past because of um, our attention to detail, you know, it takes a long time to produce our things, uh, the scarcity sometimes of the raw materials. Mm -hmm all sorts of reasons so this is a great opportunity like we are delighted with this that people can learn a history as well because every item has a specific date and a history behind it it creates like a synopsis of our 23 years this is a delight we're so happy to share this so is there a piece in this collection that you that you wouldn't have done no that you don't like absolutely not it's all every piece is different some are more wearable some are more 